Anyone standing over this pit can't smell the stench of a corpse, because there's a secret hidden beneath this giant pit. The guy wants to know what's in the pit. He picks up a rock and throws it down, but it's 10 minutes before they hear the rock hit the ground. At first, they don't realize how big the problem is, but when Yuri pulled out a lighter to light a cigarette as if nothing had happened, the flame turned green. As they wondered, a sudden hissing sound was heard, fearing that the next moment, the unknown creature would emerge from the pit to take their lives. They took fright and fled, unbeknownst to them. They awakened the mysterious creature sleeping in the pit. At night, a hissing sound was heard beneath the pit. The researchers then spotted a large number of unidentified objects on the radar. They quickly surrounded the pit with steel plates, but the steel plates didn't seem to help. The captain sensed something was wrong and called for reinforcements, but it was clearly too late. The steel plates were overturned by the monster's incredible strength. Everyone pressed was attacked by the monster. Two boys heard a strange noise in the mountain behind the school. They rushed to bring some of their classmates here to check out the situation. But strangely, all they saw were ruins and no corpses. Just as they were wondering what was going on, an unknown creature suddenly appeared. A young man has accidentally found an unknown creature. At first, they didn't realize the danger, but the next thing they knew, the creature had jumped onto Clumsy's face. The young man rushes to her rescue, but Clumsy refuses. Clumsy takes off her clothes and wraps them around the creature, and she hammers away at a nearby tree. This behavior left everyone stunned. They wanted to know what it was and brought the monster's body back to school. They knocked on the principal's door. The principal wasn't worried and said it was probably a mutant rat. They told them not to panic and not to come knocking on his door in the middle of the night in future. The next thing he knew, he heard a monster roaring outside the school. Apparently, the unknown monster chased them all the way back to school. While everyone didn't know what to do, the puppy suddenly barked at the window. The vice principal rushed over to keep an eye on him. The next moment, an unidentified creature tackled the assistant to the ground and attacked him. Within moments, the assistant became completely immobile. The creature then screamed and the crowd rushed out of the school. They got into a car and prepared to leave, but the school principal suddenly remembered his dog. He rushed out of the car to save the dog, but the next moment, he was killed by the monster. They had no choice but to start the car and flee. But the monster didn't stop there. The car was about to hit the wall. Yuri quickly applied the emergency brake, smashing the monster to smithereens. They realized that this was not a good place to stay and drove off. Halfway there, Clemsy suddenly remembered that her best friend was still at school. They had to turn around and go back to school to save her friend's life. A group of young people were singing and dancing on the grass, unbeknownst to them. The monster set his sights on them. These people will soon be a meal for the monster. Suddenly, the boy seemed to touch something. When he turned his head, he was completely stunned. Under his hand was the monster's mouth. The next moment, the monster ripped his hand off. All pressed were frightened and screaming. All the monsters hiding in the darkness rushed towards them and attacked. Fortunately, Clemsy was able to escape with her brother just in time. However, one of the monsters wouldn't leave them alone. They were spared. When the teacher pulled out a stick and stepped the monster through the heart, realizing that the school was full of monsters, they were unable to escape. The survivors had to hide in the basement and try to escape. Unexpectedly, when they hid in the basement, they noticed a foul smell coming from it. At first, they didn't understand what was going on until they saw a series of patterns on the tunnel walls. They realized that hundreds of years ago, the priest had locked the monsters underground and built a school on top to contain them. To everyone's surprise, they thought the basement was the safest place. Instead, they accidentally broke into the monster's house. The next thing they knew, the monsters were after them. Catching their scent, they could only do their best to escape. With more and more monsters behind them, they could only run for the passage. Unexpectedly, they mistakenly ran into a dead end, just as they thought they were going to die. The boy suddenly felt a cold wind blowing behind him. They turned their heads and realized there was a small hole behind them. They climbed out without saying a word. They ran as hard as they could and finally escaped. Just as Yuri was about to get out of the hole, he took out a lighter and threw it into the hole. The next moment, the whole cave was in flames. The monsters inside were all reduced to ashes, and because of an unidentified smell in the basement, their school was blown to smithereens. At the end of the story, the survivors leave with smiles on their faces. This film tells us, as long as we stand together and look closely, all dangers and difficulties can be solved.